Today, Parliament was a beehive of activity as NRM members of Parliament and their independent counterparts set off for a 10-day retreat at the National Leadership Institute, Changkwanzi. Apart from the 337 NRM legislators, the retreat has also attracted 62 NRM-leaning independent MPs, 30 ex-officials, as well as the NRM Central Executive Committee members. Some of the NRM MPs arrived clad in their party colors. However, a few others decided to wear the Nali Army uniform. Owing to their 10 day stay at Chiangkwanzi, the MPs arrived with their luggage in tow. And uh, the first two or three or four or five buses can depart. Top of the agenda at the retreat is the issue of how to ensure the successful implementation of the parish development model. Which is about uh, the role of the leader in enhancing household income, wealth creation and socio-economic transformation. It, it is very important that uh, we look critically into the P PDM because PDM, like, like you know, the president is very interested in it. PDM is going to uplift the well-being of our people, the most vulnerable. How is it going to be more useful and more important to the end user? Mm. The person who has received that money, is it going to be helpful? Um, many people did not understand them, uh, including leaders. Then there's also a need to find out what's happening in each constituency and countrywide. The MPs are also expected to determine how to improve on the provision of services to the population. Issues to do with education, health, and then infrastructure, the road network. Security for individuals, security for communities, uh, security for the whole country must be addressed. With two years into the 2021 mandate handed to the NRM government, legislators also want the retreat to look into how far the party has implemented its manifesto. It's the right thing to do that a group of people should retreat and rethink and re-strategize on their actions, on what to do, on how to deliver the promises that we made to Ugandans during the time of campaigns as a government. So that when we come back, we go on the draw board and see what we can do better and better and better. Because at the end of the day, people look for services, not these colors. Ruhama MP Benjamin Kamkama also wants the party chairperson to take the political action he promised against party members involved in the Karamoja Iron Sheet saga. But he had promised a lot of political action, a lot of things about it. So I expect him to believe us how far he has gone with that program. A section of the leaders also wants the party chairperson to give a clear resolution on who will bear the party flag in the 2026 presidential elections. Uh, our president also is moving, meeting Ugandans through uh, Tova Kumaini, the Chambogo office. So we want to ask him a question so that he can uh, respond to us by telling us uh, the way forward. In fact, the issue of MK is one of the issues I have expectations to hear about when I am in the retreat. And I pray that let this matter come so that we discuss it. If we don't score in the same goal, we're going to end up divided and the opposition may take advantage. So we need to consolidate our position. We need to focus on one goal and we need all to score in one goal so that at the end of the day, we are all winners. The national resistance movement is accommodative. The national resistance movement is a bus. And you know, in a bus, every view and opinion is entertained. Whenever the NRM members of parliament are called for a retreat, some of the resolutions that emerge see amendments made to the country's constitution. We sought to find out if this will be the case this time around. I do not want to anticipate, but uh, at least I have peeped into the program. It has nothing to do with the constitutional amendment, but if we are amending the constitution, on what this time round? This retreat is expected to end on the 5th of June. Joyce Nakato. NTV Weekend Edition.